very good morning students uh, first of all welcome back uh, from your uh, vacations and uh, i hope you all are all geared up uh, to uh, your uh, studies again and uh, the chapter that we are going to study today is uh, of english literature it is chapter number 9 my life okay so children this is a very very inspirational chapter you can learn a lot of things from it this chapter is uh, uh, an excerpt from uh, the autobiography of apj abdul kalam are you aware of apj abdul kalam children he was the 11th president of our country and he was a very very renowned scientist as well so today we will be uh, you know taking account of few instances of his life and learning a lot of things okay children so children there is an activity on page number 122 so this is the starter activity of the chapter i will go through it and explain it to you and then you will be attempting on your own so the starter activity children is a question are you a leader what do you understand by the term leader children you all will say a leader is a person who's got the title a leader is a person who's leading everyone a leader is a person who's very responsible you are very close children a leader is a person who's carrying a responsibility who's carrying a, a you know dedication perseverance and lot of hard work and zeal in you know bringing about a change in whichever community he is serving or whichever uh, you know people he is belonging to so uh, today what you have to do children you have to tell me the qualities that are imbibed in a leader because a true leader is the one whose personality has a lot of qualities right children discuss with your talking partner so since we are all at home children we are going to discuss with our family members discuss with your family members at least 10 qualities of a person who can lead others towards better life with the help of a partner in the word search below find 10 words and phrases that describe the qualities of an inspiring leader shade them using light colored crayons so children there is a crossword in your uh, textbook on page number 122 you have to use your crayons and shade the words which words the qualities that you find in the puzzle and these qualities which are a part of a leader okay children so that's a very very interesting uh, activity you've been given some hints below the crossword you can use that to find the answers okay now uh, can you tell me what could be the qualities honesty uh, dedication hard work perseverance determination on uh, you know truthfulness all these qualities children and uh, creativity humor problem solving all these qualities are you know part of a great personality and that's what you have to imbibe in yourselves now after finding these words in the crossword you are going to make sentences children and uh, you are going to write those sentences in your english literature notebook okay children now let's start our story we are familiar with the 11th president of india apj abdul kalam now let's read an excerpt from his autobiography which offers us a glimpse into his childhood very interesting right children we'll be having an idea about this great great leader children we'll be able to know him from a closer aspect from a closer sphere my life my life when i come i am i have some good news for you it was my mathematics teacher from class 4 and he was standing just outside the house and calling out to my father he looked quite excited so we all rushed out to greet him and invite him inside my father offered him a seat and then looked on expectantly up to come up here to me my teacher beckoned to me i was standing with all the other children peeping from behind my elder brother I came up shyly to him. He pulled me close affectionately, then turned to my father and said, "Abdul has scored full marks in mathematics in the exam, and not only in mathematics but in science as well, and he has done very well in English and Tamil too. 
We teachers are very proud of him. I was so pleased to, to hear this result. Okay, so children, we have uh, the story of uh, APJ Abdul Kalam. He, in this uh, scenario, he's in class 4. Right, children? Now, suddenly, uh, you know, his mathematics teacher comes to his house and, uh, you know, greets his father. Wanakam children is a way we greet each other, like we wish each other good morning, good evening. Same way, children, in Tamil language, we greet each other out of respect. We pay respect to each other. Okay, so Wanakam Aya, Aya as in Sir. This is, these are Tamil words. Okay, children. So over here, the mathematics teacher greeted the father and then uh, the children were quite excited. The children weren't aware why has the teacher come, but they were really, really excited looking at the teacher. Because children at that time, school was more like a home. You related very, very closely to the teacher. There were very uh, counted number of students in the school. The entire village had only one school. Everybody stayed in vicinity. Today, cities are quite big. We come from different places and cities and uh, from different states. And, uh, you know, kind of we have a lot of uh, versatility and mixed uh, uh, groups uh, in our city, in our school. But in those days, children, it used to be a very small group of people. So they were very, very aware of each other and very closely knit. So the, uh, you know, the, uh, the sudden... Uh, uh, appearance of the teacher in the house was a matter of joy to the children. They were very happy. Now the father was expecting some of the other news that the teacher has come over home. And then the teacher went ahead and beckoned Abdul. Beckoned as in children that you know you gesture someone to come close to you. You gesture someone with your hand, with your eyes. You gesture them so that they come close to you. You know, so he beckoned him to come close and then he, uh, you know, Abdul was a very, very shy boy. As a child, he was very shy and he was hiding behind his elder brother. But then he took courage and went to his teacher and then the teacher announced in front of everyone that he had scored full marks in science and maths and he had done extremely well in English and Tamil too. These are really important subjects, children. You all are very aware of it, right? Uh, because uh, having a grasp of language will help us uh, communicate so well in our future children and do well. At the same time, science and mathematics are very, very, uh, you know, uh, extensive uh, uh, fields, children, where uh, you need to have the basics uh, very strong. So Abdul was doing quite well in that. And the teacher said, we teachers are very, very, very proud of him and you can see the joy and the uh, you know the pleasure on Abdul's face he was really pleased to hear the result but I was even more pleased because my teacher had taken the trouble to come all the way to my house to tell us about this he had finished his work at the school and then instead of hurrying back home he had come here to share his pride and happiness with my family our school was small, but it had many such teachers like him. They taught us with love and care and felt the same joy in our achievements as we did. That evening, my mother made special poli, a flat chapati-shaped sweet to celebrate. We all loved polis and ate many helpings till we were told we had enough and sent off to bed in case we got tummy aches. Okay. So children, you see over here that the result was so pleasing that it was a matter of celebration in the house. How do you all celebrate? You will throw a party, you will have some good food, you will invite your close ones. So similarly children, the mother in this picture has, you know, uh, made special polis. Polis are these uh, uh, flat chapatis which are sweet. It's like a dessert for them. So they, these uh, uh, polis were so, uh, you know, fulfilling and so, uh, you know, delicious to the children that they kept eating it. They couldn't stop. And after eating their full, they uh, would definitely at times stop when their stomach would start paining and they were sent off to bed. So in this way, children, you see, there are two aspects. 
One, the concern of the mother and second, the concern of the teacher. The teacher went all the way to give the news to the child's house. That shows that uh, the amount of affection the teacher and the students shared in that time. And this made Abdul really, really happy. Not that he scored good, but that his teacher came to share the joy. The teacher was so proud of him. You like making your parents happy, right children? And sometimes you like making all your loved ones happy, your teachers happy. And that's a sign of a leader that you care about others' feelings. If you have that concern, that means you have leadership qualities in you, just like APJ Abdul Kalam. Let's go ahead, children. As a child, my day started very early. Uh, it began with my mother gently shaking me awake early in the morning before sunrise. Abdul, wake up, Karna. She would call affectionately and I got up. Wiping the sleep from my eyes, I had two places to go to before school. One was the Arabic tuition class that all of us attended. There we learned to read the Quran. After it was over, I went to my mathematics teacher's house. He took a special class for students who showed promise in the subject. I have always loved learning about numbers and their rules and patterns. Addition and subtraction and multiplication and all other basics functions. I had learned very quickly. Now I was raring to know about more complex problems. My teacher had started the class for students just like me. And I enjoyed going there and grappling with number problems in the early hours of the day. So children, you see over here that uh, the day, the schedule, if you compare it children with your own life, you will see how everybody works so hard. You as students, there were times when we used to get up early in the morning, rush to school, your teachers reaching school, your parents going to their workplace or working hard at home to make things in, fall into place. Right children, everybody is working so hard including you. Similarly, the uh, schedule of uh, the, you know, the, the working of Abdul, uh, APJ Abdul Kalam was such that he used to get up early in the morning before sunrise. That's something really, really nice, children. Because if you're early to bed and early to rise, it makes you healthy, wealthy and wise. Right, children? So you should always make use of each moment, each time. So this way, he used to get up early in the morning. Before school, he used to go to two places. He used to go for the Arabic classes where he was taught about his religious scripture. His religious scripture was the Quran. Okay, so he was a Muslim and he used to study the religious book very dedicatedly because he felt, his parents felt that was important for making a person morally sound, morally a good human being. At the same time, you have to study in your educational field also. So he used to take tuitions of mathematics and uh, the teacher, mathematics teacher, could, uh, took special care of students who had deep interest and gave them extra classes right in the morning, early in the morning before school. And all of them who were interested, just like Abdul Kalam, they used to go and learn. They used to learn more than the usual class. He had already grasped the basics of addition, subtraction, multiplication multiplication. He wanted to do complex problems. He wanted to understand what are numbers, how numbers rule our entire life, how numbers can be used in the field of science and the different patterns and rules and regulations, their reasoning behind it, everything he used to enhance his knowledge with. Right children? So in the same way, children, we also notice that, uh, you know, uh, the, ch uh, the the time, at, at that time, children, uh, uh, students having special keen interest in science and maths was very limited, okay? So he was really blessed. How he was blessed? He had good teacher. He had good supportive parents. The, the way the mother is waking him up in the morning and at the same time, he took advantage of the situation. Are you taking advantage of the situation provided to you? You have schooling right, right in your phones, children, right now. Right in your laptop, children. There are children who are not getting this opportunity. Make use of that. Not understanding? Research. Find out more. Ask your teacher. Because that's how you will grow, children. That's the quality of a leader, just like Abdul Kalam. Let's go ahead.
I ran home once the class was over. My mother would always have a hot meal ready. We all ate our fill. In our school, children did not carry tiffin boxes and water bottles. So I ate the mid-morning meal hungry, enjoying the rice and vegetables and chutney and dal. Some days she would make piping hot dosas and I still remember their thick crispy texture and the spicy powder smeared on them. So you see children, the dedication the mother is cooking with, do you realize that? Do you observe children, the dedication with which your father or your mother are going out, working hard in this corona times and getting back home just to work for the entire family, for you especially children. You should be thankful. APJ Abdul Kalam was really grateful, thankful to his mother. He really loved his mother and everyone. He really loved his teachers. Everything you have to be thankful for. He was even thankful for the dosas that he got. Are you thankful for the meals that you get by your mother or maybe by the helper who's helping in the house? You should be thankful to each and every member children. That's the quality of a leader. That's what makes us grow. You imagine children in those times, they never had different boxes and water bottles. You study, you get back home, have your midday meal, get back to school. It was so homely environment. Yet, did they say, oh, I'm getting tired, how to go home now? No, they look at him, he got up early in the morning and now he's rushing home for his meal. He's really being grateful for, his, to, uh, for the meal to his mother and then getting back to school for studying. What a great personality. That's the sign of a leader. That's what we need to learn.